New tonight, we have the 911 call a woman made during a tiger attack at the Topeka Zoo. Keeper still in the cage? Yes, 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 yes. And there's no way to get him out safely? I don't know. I don't know. The, we just got some staff over here now, but I know we're going to need an ambulance. And we've got it with team coverage tonight. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is at the zoo working to find out what the zookeeper was doing in the moments before that attack. But we start with our Hannah Branch. She's live in downtown Topeka with more from that panicked 911 call. Hannah. Yeah, Brooke and Jace, that 911 call came into dispatchers here in this building. It's about five minutes long, and in it, the woman describes coming to the zoo with her husband, then seeing Sanjeev the tiger grab a hold of Kristen, the zookeeper. The caller describes watching as staff try to lure the tiger off of Kristen. She tells the dispatcher she doesn't know if the keeper is awake, but says they will definitely be needing an ambulance. The dispatcher assures her that emergency crews are on the way, but then the situation escalates. Can you see right now? Is there any serious bleeding? Um, she is. Is she, is she sitting there holding her head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's sitting there trying not to move, and the male tiger is right next to her. She's holding her head. Oh, he's trying. Oh, oh my God! He just grabbed her again. No, he grabbed her hand and her hair. We later learned that the tiger left bites and scratches on the back of Kristen's head, neck, and one of her arms, and she is now recovering at the hospital. And now zoo officials are explaining to us just what the zookeeper was doing in the moments leading up to attack, the attack. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett joins us live from the zoo to continue our in-depth coverage. Hannah, the zoo does have security cameras like this one in the tiger exhibit, but it didn't catch the area of the attack. So staff members have been talking to everyone that was there to try to piece together what happened. The zoo director says zookeeper Kristen Hayden Ortega was most likely doing her morning routine of rearranging the Sumatran tiger's area. A zoo volunteer noticed the tiger was in the exhibit with her, and that volunteer quickly went to the hippo exhibit to get help. Staff immediately started preparing firearms and tranquilizers to neutralize the cat, while others called the cat off. Wiley says staff is never supposed to be in the enclosure with an animal and does not think it was an error with the mechanics. We were 100% confident in the infrastructure of that facility when we put tigers back into it later that same day. Wiley says they are looking into possibly getting more security cameras for the zoo. Now staff is waiting for uh, Hayden Ortega to get better before they're able to talk to her and figure out exactly what happened in the tiger pit. Live at the Topeka Zoo, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Dan. And we do have that full 911 tape on our website.